Welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, I'm going to create the winning dialogue screen of our Knowledge Quiz app and also the game losing screen of our Knowledge Quiz app. So let's start this lecture. So I'm going to open my Adobe XD. So this is the screen that I had created in previous lecture. So if you not watch the previous lecture, then I will suggest you to first watch all the previous lectures. So in this lecture, I'm going to create the UI screen for the winning dialogue. So first I'm going to copy this screen. So not this screen, I'm just copying this screen because it has very less content. So I'm going to just drag it to the bottom of the screen and I'm just going to pressing middle button and I'm going to adjust my view and I'm just pressing the control key and I'm using a mouse wheel up for the zoom in. Then I'm going to just simply select this one and I'm going to need all the controls of this. Just leaving the text because later on I want this text. So first I'm going to select my shape tool. There's a rectangular shape tool and I'm by pressing shift key I'm going to create a square which is so once I created the square I'm going to select it with the pick tool and I'm going to click on at the middle so for that I'm going to use selecting this square tool and then I select the background by pressing the shift key and I'm going to click on this align tool so it will align it to the perfectly at the center of the artboard then what I'm going to do I'm going to just create again the shape tool and I'm going to create a, another rectangle and I'm just making it a little bigger. Just by pressing V key, I'm in a pick tool mode and I'm going to select it here. Then I'm going to fill it with the yellow color. The yellow color that I want and the yellow that is look like this yellow. So I want this color and make it a little bigger. Then I'm making another copy of that. So this is the two buttons. Then I'm going to remove the border because I don't want the border. So this one is used. Now it's time to place the text at the top of the screen. But you can see that the text is actually far behind the this tool. So why, what we need to do? We need to actually does what? I need to make it at to front. So I'm going to click on arrange, bring it to front. Now so it is in the front so i make it a little smaller this first i need to make it a little bigger screen so that you can work it more perfectly and here i'm going to type it main menu now it is bit bigger so i'm going to reduce the size to 19. now i need to reduce the size so i'm going to select the old text and i'm just making it to 19. now i need to make it maybe 15. So 15 is enough. Then again I need to copy this text and place it to here. And here I need to specify the text play again. Not enter. Just hit the control S so that it will save the progress of the UI creation. So that's all about the buttons that we want. Then I want another text. So I'm going to again copy and paste it. And here I'm going to place it and this time I want to make the color to black. It's a dark black color. So that's what I want. And I'm going to increase the size. Then placing it at the middle. Then here I'm going to define a UI text. Your score. And the score I'm going to give it as 0, 05. Because this is a losing screen I'm going to create in the first. So this. Now I need to create a one custom shape for my UI because I want a different design. So for that I need to first create a rectangle with this and then I need to create a square. So by pressing shift key I am going to create a perfect square. Then I am going to by pressing V2 I am going to select this rectangle. No, select this square and I am going to rotate it like in a rhombus shape and I am going to place it at the top of the now first I want this in a perfect center to the rectangle so I'm going to select this one and again I'm going to select this one means the background rectangle by pressing shift key and align it to the center now it is in a perfectly in a center so I'm going to select both and here I'm going to use this tool that is add so it will create a new shape for me that's the shape what I want now again I'm going to copy and paste it no instead of copy and paste it, I'm going to again create a rectangle means uh, by pressing Again I want I'm going to click on the shape tool and by pressing shift key I'm going to 
draw another square that is looks like nice then again i'm going to press the v key to go in a pick tool mode and i'm going to rotate it like i have previously one rotated and i'm going to place it at the middle of this one then i'm going to reduce the size of by pressing the shift key then i'm going to place it at the middle so it is in middle because the smart guide shows us that it is actually placed in the middle of the object then i'm going to color, color it as green because it's a winning color now i'm going to want a perfect green color so let me first uh, zoom in zoom out sorry then i'm going to place this one and i'm going to use this color so this is the color that i want so this will look nice but the border i don't want the border removing the border from both the shapes so that looks nice now what i need i need a text so i'm again going to copy this text one so here i'm going to place it and just i'm going to type you you won because it's a winning screen you won now what i need to do i'm just making the border to black and the fill i want to be just a bright white and i'm going to increase the size little bit just i'm going to place select this one and the first thing i want to do i'm just making it all selecting this two and just i'm making a group of these two so that will be acts as a one object then i'm going to place this one at the top and selecting the previous object with by pressing shift key and align it to the center by using this alignment tools so you can see that it is now in a perfectly aligned at the center now again i'm going to select it and i'm going to press ctrl g for the group so that's the first screen so this is the ui screen that i have created now again i need to do one more thing because these all are background are white so i need to give the background to different color so i'm going to again select it and ungroup it by right clicking on it and ungroup it again i need to do what i right click ungroup so it is ungroup and this is also so i'm going to give the background color which is same like our ui color so i'm going to give the same color as a background and then i'm going to place it at the center and this one again but before that i need to make it in a group making a copy of this object so i'm going to press ctrl v for the copy and this one is actually i'm going to make it as red so i'm going to click on this tool and here i'm going to select the red color and another text i want for the losing screen so i'm going to click on here you lose so this is for losing screen means a using dialog and this is for winning dialog so i need to make it in the front just control undo and arrange and bring it to front so that's will be at the center now i'm making a group of that one and i want to make a group of that one so what i did you will be get to know about quickly after some part of the video so this is our winning dialog now i'm going to copy and paste this screen again so here i get the another screen and i'm going to place it at the bottom so i need to first adjust the my viewport it's a view area that's look nice then i'm going to remove this one and just simply going to place this one at here at the center of the screen so this is the two old dialogs i have created quickly by with the copy and paste of the previous one so you can see that i have quickly created the two dialogs now almost they are look like similar but they are two different dialog box now here you can change it you lose your final now winning dialog score i'm going to give it as here 15 you when so when the user loses the quiz this dialog will be shown and when the quizzer won the quiz this dialog will be shown and user have two option either user can go to the main menu or even can play the quiz but for when winning this quiz user don't want to play again the quiz because user already won the quiz so i'm going to delete this one because that one is not needed just we need a on the main but main menu screen so i'm going to place it at the center if the user fails the quiz means user don't won the quiz then we will ask user to select either form two option the next dialog screen that we want to create is a times up dialog so for times up i'm going to copy and paste the dialog again i'm just copy and paste the artboard again so this is another artboard i have got it now here i'm going to do what again 
there is two option we want to show ask with the user when the time's up so for time's up we don't need uh, this logo and i'm going to reduce the size not the from the top of the size and i'm going to select all of them and make it at the little top just by using the align tool or now it will makes us our UI bad so this looks nice it will work because in android studio we're going to code it manually so just for the demonstration purpose i'm using the ui and how our final ui will be look like before going to code inside the android studio so here i'm going to type a message times up and you can also use a sense of exclamation at the end that's it so then user will be asked to select from the two option this will increase the size so that's our times of dialog ui look like so what i'm going to do i'm going to just make it into group control g again i'm going to click on this and click on this control g then again i'm going to select this one and this one and make it into control g and the one group then i'm going to send it to the back not too many back we just one layer back again i want to send it to backward that's look nice then again i'm going to select this one and this one also and make it into group then again i need to send it to backward and once more and again until you get there that's why i'm going to use a shortcut key control same thing you need to do with this dialog select this one and by pressing this one and then control g then i'm going to use a shortcut key so that's look nice so i'm going to rename the screens this is a winning dialog screen and this is a losing dialog screen and this is a times up dialog screen now i'm going to select it and select all the layout and i'm going to arrange it into the perfectly to all of them so you can see that our all the uis for our quiz application is created so that's all about this video if you like this video then please share it with your friend and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel my channel name is dino code academy and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next lecture thank you